Hey everybody, it's Vicki with Dementia with Grace. I hope y'all are doing great today. I hope that you have found us here on YouTube. Maybe you are a subscriber and you're, you're looking forward to today's um, ABCs of Dementia FAQs, the letter H. Um, or maybe you're just joining us for the first time and this is your first introduction to me. Let me just tell you just a little bit about myself. I'm Vicki Nolan Fitch. I am a social worker and a certified dementia practitioner. I am the creator of the Dementia with Grace Behavior Management System and the author of the book with the same name. Um, the link to the book is down below. You can buy it from Amazon. It's a bestseller on Amazon. Nothing could have tickled me more um, than to just get this information out to the people that need it. So let's get started today on our letter H of the ABCs of Dementia FAQs. And today we are going to talk about hallucinations. Very, very common. Um, and especially folks with Lewy body dementia, it's extremely common. In fact, it's one of the hallmarks that differentiates Lewy body dementia from some of the other dementias. But hallucinations can happen in any of the dementias. And let me tell you primarily why. Primarily, it is not a psychiatric um, condition as would be hallucinations in somebody with schizophrenia or a bipolar disorder or some of the other psychiatric um, illnesses that we see in our community. Um, what it is primarily in, um, in folks with dementia has to do a lot with um, misinterpreting reality. Um, they might see a coat rack as a man in a coat and hat. Um, they might mistake um, little flecks of a darker color in your, in your linoleum or your tile as bugs. They might um, think that something, uh, some pattern on their shirt is a spider, you know, something like that. And it's not necessarily that they are seeing things that are not there as would manifest in somebody with schizophrenia, bipolar, or something like that, they are misinterpreting um, the, the data in their surroundings. They see a spot as a bug. They see a black tile on the floor as a hole. And it gets, it gets characterized as, a, as an hallucination, and that's, that's that's okay, that's right. I mean, you know, we need to treat it as that. It's seeing, you know, hallucination is, is an, a visual hallucination is seeing something that's not there. An auditory hallucination is hearing something that's not happening. Those are the most, those are the two most common hallucinations. You have olfactory hallucinations where um, you smell something that's not happening. We don't see that a lot. Um, the um, the AV, the audiovisual hallucinations, are what we see primarily. So, how to fix it, how to make it better, how to encourage them um, that, you know, everything is okay and that there are no spiders on them and there is no man standing in the corner. Because that's really what you need to get to, right? Yes, it's happening, um, and it doesn't really matter to you why it's happening. You just want to know how to fix it, right? Exactly, exactly. So that's what I'm here for. What I would do is ask them what they're seeing, and then with your intact brain, try to figure out what in their environment might be tricking their brain, what might be um, tricking their eyesight, might be tricking their hearing. Um, see what you think. If they hear children playing and it's disturbing to them, or they, they hear music, there is a, in fact, today in our group, um, there was a lady that talked about um, musical ear syndrome, and I had never heard of that. I had to look it up. Um, and basically what it is, is somebody that has diminished hearing, um, their body, their, their, bri uh, their brain, oh, tongue tied, their brain doesn't get enough auditory input and so their brain kind of fills in the blanks with music um, and so it's a, it's a form of uh, 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 tinnitus I can't say that but you know how you hear ringing in your ears it's a form of that except it's music so it's really truly not a hallucination it is your brain filling in the lack of auditory input with its own memory of music what I suggested for her was earphones, um, headphones, headphones, um, so that she has something over her ears 
um, and play the kind of music that she likes. That way, she controls the experience. Her, her brain is receiving auditory data, um, auditory input, input, so that the brain is not having to substitute its own uh, music memory. Um, and she's going to try that and see if that works. I had never heard of that, but it goes right in along with the, the, um, the presentation today. If a person is saying that they see somebody in their room at night, go in there and see what looks like a person. Is there a hat rack? Is there, is the closet open and maybe they are seeing a coat hanging on the closet? Um, is there um, something, uh, a shadow from uh, a tree branch outside um, coming in and, and um, projecting onto the wall? And so that maybe looks like a person there or arms or, you know, something scary. Think about when your children were little and they would call you and they would say, Mama, there's something in my room. And, you know, you would have to go in there and kind of figure out what is it that they might be seeing that they are misconstruing as a person in this room. You know, something like that. So don't let it throw you. Again, you know, I talk about this all the time that we're just people taking care of people. Most things have a common sense component to it. Most of the um, behaviors, if we really dive deep um, and think about what is happening in that person's life that could contribute to that behavior, um, again, I believe that behaviors are because of unmet needs. What is the need? Um, is there a need for safety, a need for security, a need for love, a need for connection? Um, are they bored? Are they too stimulated? You know, maybe they need to sit in a room with the lights low and listen to music. You know, something like that. And that could interrupt the behavior. Um, I think that we just need to really get back to basics um, when we're caregivers and think first of what is the most common explanation? What would be the most um, common sense explanation for this behavior? And then treat that. And if that doesn't work, then we can get into deeper evaluations, um, you know, things like that. If it is something that has never happened and is all of a sudden happening where there is a hallucination, um, you know, yes, it could be a UTI, it could be pain, it could be any of the pick them, the pain, infection, constipation, environment, or mood change, and uh, med change. And in that situation, it might very well be the environment, like I'm saying, something in their environment is mis, is mis, um, mis cueing their brain and their brain is making order out of chaos and it's just it's just that it could be a, a uti it could be they're constipated and things like that it could be that so definitely check the pick them um the pick them uh, pain infection constipation environment and med change and i'll try 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 to think to link that video below this one um so that you can review that video um okay so that's it please subscribe um, if you haven't already subscribed, there's a button down here to subscribe. Um, I am now going to be doing videos Monday through Friday. I was doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but I've got so much information and I love making these videos. And so I want to make them daily for you. I am going to take the weekend off. If y'all would give me the weekend off, I would appreciate it. And, um, but make those videos Monday uh, through Friday. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday are going to be the educational videos that talk about just this kind of thing. Tuesdays and Thursdays will be review uh, videos for products and books that I have found helpful and I hope that you will find helpful. Um, I just realize that there's not a there's not a one-stop shop place for resources and I'm going to try to be that for you, okay? All right, so subscribe, share, trying to think of all of my things. Like, comment, um, let me know down below if there's anything that you want a video on. I will try to put it in the queue uh, and get a video made for it. I love doing these videos for y'all and I love y'all. And I will see y'all the next time we have a video, which will be Monday. All right. I love y'all. Take care. Bye. Mwah.